How's it going everyone? Today taking a quick look at the Venom vehicle jackhammer with driver Cliff Dagger. This was part of the mass series that was released by Kenner in 1985. Jackhammer here is a very iconic uh, vehicle. You see it a, quite a few times in the first season and actually in the second season of Mask. Unfortunately for Cliff Dagger, he didn't get a secondary vehicle uh, released in the racing series, which is unfortunate, but nonetheless, really cool vehicle. Now let's take a look at Dagger himself and his mask. Now Cliff Dagger here was the muscles for the Venom team and not the brightest though, unfortunately. Um, but this is a two inch scale series. And for a two inch scale series, it's got a nice amount of detail. You see, you know, his shirt's painted. You got some nice paintwork on the gun. None of the faces though had any um, like painted facial features as far as like his eyes, lips and such like that. But again, not bad. As far as articulation, six points of articulation. So you had a swivel for the neck, so you could you know turn around 360 degrees. At the arms, you can do the same thing. At the hips, you can move them forward, back. That's about as far back you can go. And then you also had a knee joint. That was just to get them to sit in their respective vehicles. And then his mask was Torch. Now this is the first release of Torch. There we go. The second release had a little more plastic on it to prevent choking, um, but this is the one that you'd want to pick up if you're going to pick up this guy. Solid cast in gray, then black painted accents, and it's a softer rubber. Stick it on him right there. Doesn't fit too flush on his shoulders, but nonetheless it looks good. It gives him a little more height, and he is the smallest member of the team for Venom. Um, I think even out of all of the releases, he's he might be taller than Bruce Sato, maybe, and maybe taller than Scott Tracker, but as far as on the Venom team, I should have got Floyd Malloyd. He's pretty short, but there he is next to Miles Mayhem. And also for being the, the muscles, he's not really not really there. Here's Sly Rex. And then even Vanessa Warfield. She's leaning forward. There. Is taller than him. Alright. Bring the vehicle back in here. Now the vehicle is a... I love mask. And I love this vehicle. I love the fact that you got the nice rubber tires. Which is what was consistent throughout the um, mask line. And I like the realism. Also like you got the Goodyear stamped on the actual tire. You got the nice chromed wheels. Um, you got the nice chromed front end and such. Rolls nicely. Open and close doors. And this was also really nice for the fact that you could carry multiple um, team members and such. You can kind of see inside. You can move the steering wheel. You do have that sticker right there for some added detail and such. All right, one of the great gimmicks of Mask, if you're not familiar with it, is you get two vehicles in one. So this transforms and um, turns into a nice kind of, um, I don't know, battle chariot type of thing. I don't, I don't know. But pushing down on the back bumper will release the top. And then you just fold that down. And then there's a nice little storage area right here for this gun, which is probably the the bane of this release, trying to find this and trying to find it in really good condition because this always gets bent, always gets lost. But this weapon right here just plugs in the top right there. Then you have that. And then you just flip this up. It's a nice little spot for your finger. And that releases this part to go down and then you get the venom sign and then it activates the gimmick where you can kind of see the guns now are popping out in the front this can swivel around about 360 degrees um, as far as looking for one of these in in pristine condition sometimes you're gonna get marks right here because of the fact that you know play 
value people were spinning this around so it it hits that but other than that though it looks great exactly what you see in the show you can just pop dagger right there and then you can take your other characters let me give miles his mask and that's pretty cool and then you got a nice little slit right there so you can kind of you can see through it was nice detail um that i liked about Kenner doing um with these the with this series in general just you know you have some molded little pieces so it's just not straight up black plastic and such the the spring gimmick still works fairly well after all these years too which is nice sometimes they don't um the only other thing that i would be worried about is cracking of the tires but it's a really nice piece again nice play value but that's it um for jackhammer here with driver cliff dagger really nice piece if you're into collecting masks and you don't have this yet i would definitely get it um it's one of those staple venom vehicles that we saw in the first season along with like switchblade and piranha and such so that's it thanks for watching guys i really do appreciate it um stay tuned for more don't forget to subscribe and like um and all that type of stuff you know what it is so um Thanks again.